All right, we got a box. Um, I already read the shipping label. Um, it is mine, and it's from Marco, so this is probably, the, yeah, it will be the Eureka Victory that I bought. I didn't really need to cut that. Because you're just gonna want to come right back in. It's like true, but it's true. Really, bro? Holy shit. Now Marco's actually pretty good at packaging, so. Let's see how this looks. We did include a crevice tool and two extension wands, I believe, actually. I think there's, this has the same thing as my smart vac where there's two extension wands. Yeah. So that's nice. And then obviously the crevice tool that all these older Eurekas had. So this thing does have some slight issues every now and then, but it should clean up pretty well. Um, I already got a new piece. It needs one of the. It not work anymore. Uh, <laughs> it needs a new belt guy. This is what goes on the hood and protects the belt from hitting the hood. But on this one, it's broken and it doesn't latch on the hood anymore. You can see, I've got my wide path victory here, which I gotta do the demo on still. Ooh, the belt. <laughs> now, for some reason, uh, Braze Vax, before he, uh, sent this smart phone, he, like, cut the wand. I don't really know what the point of that was, but it's a thing. So, let's just go ahead and... So, it appears to be in reasonably good condition, otherwise, um, it's got some scuffing, of course, but these victories are hard to find up and running still, so, um, like, even on offer up, they're hard to find. This is the first one that I saw. Motor fitment right here. It's not good. No, he did put the motor back in it. Cause he was gonna sell it without the motor for parts. But I said, hey, I'll buy it off you with the motor. Cause the motor is good. Now the main plan was just to buy this for parts for my wide path. But I think I'm just gonna clean this one up and then I'll have two nice condition victories. Cause this one, the motor actually sounds good in now. Cause, the, cause I just finally got it to sound right. But the plan was, was to take the motor from this and put it in that, but now that motor sounds normal. So, there'll be no reason to do that. Um, so yeah. Where's the adjustment wheels are missing? No, they're not. Ew, that needs to be cleaned. Not right here. This is one of the really early victories. It's a 95 with the 10 amp in it. Oh, he said the brush roll was bad. This brush roll is fine. I mean, it sounds like shit, but I can fix that. <laughs> All right. 
So I got this thing for ten dollars. Um, so even in the condition it's in, yeah, this is what people should do. Uh, you should thread it into the body of the vacuum so the screws don't get lost. But yeah, so. Yeah, there's no way to even get that to go in there. So, probably just gonna end up having to buy a new wand. Or something. Probably a whole new hose. What the hell? <laughs> what the frick? Why did he cut it? Marco didn't, Braze Vax did. I don't know why. Now, how do you get to the filter on this? Does this have an unaccessible post motor filter? I think it does. Hmm. Weird. Ooh, dirty. Deal. New bag, so that's nice. Or maybe used once. Um, yeah, this thing really needs a cleaning. But, um, yeah, these uh, Victory filters are similar to the Bissell Power Force filters. They just kind of slide in there. Obviously, my Victory didn't even have one, so I made my own, but this one doesn't, I don't need to make my own for this one. Although these victory filters are pretty useless because a lot of stuff can get around them. Okay, so. That's weird. He did put new wheels on it. So that is one thing. Condition for the Y pass does. Uh oh, that seems a little sticky. Yeah, again, it was only ten dollars. So, <laughs> um, all right, let me clean this thing up real quick, and uh, we'll start assembling it. All right, it looks a little more functional now. Um, cleaning all these ridges is really hard, so. We're just gonna put this, whatever type of bag this is in here. door. Still not perfect, but a little more functional than it was. Alright. Also, I just wiped off the back of it. This thing's actually kind of gross. <laughs> Not anything against Marco. He didn't really do much with this. So well, pretty much Marco never even owned it. He did. Technically it was in his possession. But um, it was mostly breeze vax to me at this point. Because Marco really didn't do anything to it. Besides put new wheels on it since they got broke during shipping. This is a non-headlight model. This is like one of the really early ones from 95. Let's 
see how nasty it is in these thin things as I shove my finger in them. This looks like the same thing as my wide path. Just, it's weird that there's no, well, you can see there's like a cutout for it. Weird. <laughs> that is really weird. Now I need to take it apart, not much, just to take the hood off to um, investigate what's going on with this thing, because the main reason he sold it is because it's going through belts. So. I really wanted this because I really wanted one of the really old victories. This one's a 97, but I also wanted a squared base one. Disgusting in here. Yeah, see, this part's broken. I don't know if it's. It, it's not meant to sit right here. It's meant to go in the base, but it's broken. So, we'll clean this up and then. Out with the old and in with the new. And then I just bought this brush along grease the bearings. Okay, so this is disgusting. Um <laughs> uh for once my electric wipes, which you use on like iPad screens and stuff, are not cutting it. Uh you can see how much they did clean up, which is just fucking disgusting. Ugh. Um This is disgusting, braze box, because I really doubt this is from Marco using it a little bit. So, yeah, I'm just gonna let this poop on my carpet there. And, yeah. Let some of this nastiness soak. And it should actually just kind of flop right off. This is clean enough. There's still a little bit of Kirby cake there, but it's good enough. So we'll just go ahead and pop our new thing in here. Oh, Jesus. Are, are these a little bit different? I think they are a little bit different. Shut up. Oh, because the problem is, is this belt is rubbing. And so the brush roll is also rubbing. So, I thought... I 
I will try it. Oh shoot, I see what's happening. I think. Maybe I don't. So it actually kind of seems like this base might be broken right here. And this brush roll is just not staying in. But it doesn't really look broken. Yeah, it kind of does. One second, guys. All right, so this piece of shit's all put together. I'm kind of scared um, to see what's gonna happen. I don't know if I fixed anything. Um, I attempted to do some things, but I doubt I did anything. Now this thing could be on. Oh my gosh, what I did might actually be working. Motor sounds okay though. To try using it on carpet, but um, I got a problem here with this. One second, I kind of got it rinky dinked here. Um, I don't know what's up with this, I feel like that wasn't like this in his videos, but I, I don't even know. But um, yeah, I could try. This where it won't be so obnoxious. I don't know. Let's just give this piece a proper run. Remember, 10 bucks. Not that bad of a deal. Pretty amazed. So what I did is since this side wouldn't stay in, I just super glued it. I literally super glued it to stay in the base. Like stay like super glued it right into there. <laughs> and it's working. And it works. It picked up its mess. So as yes. 
So I don't know what Bray's Vax or Marco did to this thing, but it smells like rubbing alcohol mixed with some kind of old lady's perfume. Um, I, don't, I, I, I don't even know, if, but it's not very appealing. Um, but yeah, so it does appear to work though. And that's better than nothing. So yeah, at least I got another vacuum for a de reasonable deal. Now it's nowhere near as exciting as that one was, but it was still exciting. Just because I really like these victories. I actually think a lot of people shit talk them, but I think they're actually really well built. You know, they're really sturdy. Um, and they clean well, too. A lot of people say they don't clean well, but they do. Believe it or not, they do clean well. So this, I don't even know where I'm going to put this for now, but it's going to go in the bagless section. This room's kind of a mess. I've got too much boxes, but yeah.